Hey guys, it's Michael J, and welcome back to another video. Huge news in the CW's Arrowverse, recently it was just leaked that Batwoman flat out quit her show. Yep, that's right, the show that right out of the gate threw Batman completely under the bus, saying that he need a girl to do the job right. I need you to fix his suit. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. Yep, I know that feeling, that ugh, cringe you just did. This show was full of those moments and it's no surprise that Batwoman is no more. In fact, I'm surprised it even lasted this long. But wait, what? The show got renewed for season two? How, how is this possible? The main actor just walked away from being the star of the show. And I haven't even seen a TV show get so much hate before the pilot airs or just flat out look as bad as this one did. How did this happen? Why was this show so bad? Was it just because it's Batwoman? No, of course not. All of us would love a good Batwoman show. Are you kidding? This show just went about it all wrong and we're gonna break down what happened with the show and why Ruby Rose left her lead role as Batwoman as well as all the other things we just went over. It was also just announced yesterday how they're going to deal with the lead actor leaving and if they're going to give Batwoman reconstructive surgery to look like the new actress or just figure something else out. So stay tuned because this is really interesting. I've never seen anything like this before. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. We've got a great community here that loves to talk about all the same things that you love to talk about. So be sure to go down and hit that red button to join the community. Now we're going to jump right into it because I've got some very strong feelings about this show that I just kind of need to get out there. It shouldn't be too big of a surprise to anyone that's been following the channel that I've been a huge fan of all the CW superhero shows since they released the very first episode of Arrow. I absolutely love that show. It recently just ended after eight seasons being the CW's longest running show and I also really enjoyed The Flash, Supergirl, Gotham, and Legends of Tomorrow. I love how they introduce new characters and build new shows around them, that is, if they're accepted well. We've got a few more shows rumored to be in production actually, speaking of. There's supposed to be a show based around Oliver Queen's daughter, Mia Queen, in the works, as well as talks of a Superman and Lois show they're working on. So when I saw the trailer for the crossover episode that would introduce Batwoman, you would think super awesome, new hero, right? Well, the actress that was playing her I know can be hard to like. She's fine and all, great actress, but she plays a lot of characters that are very easy to dislike. First impression is you usually snooty attitude, so that made me cautious, but just the thought of Batwoman actually being in the crossover sounded so cool, such a cool thing to introduce into the Arrowverse at this time, but little did I know her character would literally dig her grave before the first episode even came out. After they dropped the first trailer, they got so much backlash that Ruby Rose flat out quit Twitter. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I really don't like this. Actors getting hate for characters they play in TV shows and movies is so wrong and this should never be acceptable. Because while others aren't affected by it, some of these actors get really affected by all this hate and no one deserves that. They are literally just doing their job. People are paying them to act a certain way and say these things and portray this character you see on screen. It's completely fine to dislike a character, but take your opinions to the writers, the people who created her character. Unfortunately, this drove her off of Twitter last August when the first episode of the show didn't even come out until October, two months later. It doesn't take a genius to see things aren't looking too great for the show already. And real quick, did you know that only 8% of my viewers are subscribed? That's crazy! Come on guys, what are you doing? If you're not subscribed and you're watching and enjoying the videos, please subscribe! Help the channel reach our goal of hitting 200k by the end of August. But real quick, biggest shout out to that 8% though, thank you so much for your wonderful support. It's because of you guys that I get to do this, so thank you, I appreciate it. Now, I'm sure you're saying, Michael, aren't you going to tell us why everyone hated Batwoman so bad? Yes. The suit is literal perfection. It will be. When it fits a woman. Imagine this times 10. This show was so quick to take Batman and literally throw him under a fleet of buses. They did him so dirty in this series, and I think that's gotta be my number one problem with the show. Instead of just telling the audience that Batman was away training or dealing with the League of Assassins or just doing anything somewhere else, they went out of their way to rag on Batman and go on and on about how he gave up on Gotham and gave up on the people of Gotham and how he doesn't care anymore and that he left those girls to die. This show takes every chance it gets to say that Batman sucks because he's a boy and they need a girl to save everybody and do the job right. Now, first off, that just doesn't sound like Batman. Giving up on Gotham? Gotham is his main priority. That's why he became the Bat. He's not going anywhere. They did the same thing the new Star Wars movies did to Luke Skywalker. Oh, Luke senses a little bit of darkness in young Ben Solo. Well, guess that means I should kill him in his sleep. 
What? No, this is Luke Skywalker we're talking about. He saw the tiniest sliver of light in the baddest villain in all of film history, Darth Vader, and laid down his weapon and refused to fight him. There's no way that just because he senses a little bit of darkness in his nephew, that he would even think to kill him in his sleep. That just goes against everything that says who he is as a character. And the same goes with Batman. Just because he had a little boo-boo and two girls died in an accident, doesn't mean he would get up and walk away from protecting the city he loves from freaking supervillains. It just doesn't work like that. Oh, and here's why they say that Batman gave up on Gotham and left. Apparently, the Joker hijacked a school bus full of kids, and as he was racing down the street, he rammed into the car that Kate, Kate's mom, and Kate's sister Beth were in, pushing them through the guard railing and almost off the side of a bridge. It knocked Kate's mom unconscious, but Batman showed up and fired a hook into the trunk of the car, and then into the other side of the bridge. He knew the hook had a load limit of one ton, so he left to pursue the Joker, knowing the cable would hold them. Kate climbed out, and as she was trying to help Beth out, something snapped and they fell to their deaths. Apparently, Batman tried to figure out what happened for the next three years, and then just quit and left Gotham. It just doesn't seem like anything Batman would do. I think they figured out it was something stupid like a manufacturing error that the steel in the trunk had or something. It's just so shallow of a reason for Batman to not be in the show. They could have easily gone with anything else and it would have been totally better. And the show just isn't afraid to let characters tell you what's going on or who they are, even when it comes completely out of left field or it's just something that's flat out stupid. Hello? Kate, it's Mary. Your stepsister? Mary. Our parents have been married for over a decade. I know who you are. Oh, okay. Don't shoot! I'm here on behalf of Batwoman! And if you're a valued longtime sub or supporter of this channel, you know that I absolutely despise when a movie or TV show will tell the audience to like a character, when the writers or the directors introduce someone new and they get some bad feedback, we'll call it, from the internet, they'll have other good characters say how amazing this bad character is, trying to subliminally change the way you feel about them. They did this in the new Star Wars movies to a disgusting degree, and I definitely mentioned it in my solo video too. I think the actor they had play Han Solo was just the worst. So I go to give the movie a chance, and during watching the whole thing, I have to listen to all these characters telling me how great this dork is, and that he's a ladies man or whatever, and that he's the best pilot ever, when in fact, he never does anything in the movie to show you he's actually a good pilot. Oh, we know you don't like them, but this character trusts them, and this character just said they're cool. Kane. Kate Kane. She's cool. She's literally saying, I like her, in hopes of the viewer going, oh yeah, I guess she's not that bad, but you know what? This time, we did it. They did this non-stop in the show with Kate Kane, and it just never worked. Do you know why? Because she was made to be an unlikable character. You have a medium to change our minds. This show is yours to tell the story and build good characters, but you just don't. And when you don't, crap like this happens. Apparently, it was just released that they won't be casting a new actor as Batwoman, but they're just entirely getting rid of the character, Kate Kane. They're going to be making a new character the star of the show. Never have I ever heard of anything like this. I mean, for one, it was definitely the character that we hated, Kate Kane. It wasn't the actress. Rose was just doing what she got paid to do, but at least they acknowledged that it was a bad character and threw her away. It's like Woody's nightmare of Andy not wanting to play with him anymore, but Andy is a multi-million dollar television network and Woody was the idea of that one Karen that eats all the muffins in the break room at work. They made her character like this on purpose and now they're just reaping what they sowed, which is totally deserved. I just have no idea how they're going to work this into the show. Originally, I thought maybe they were just going to get a new actor to play Kate and just have all the characters completely ignore the fact that their sister or daughter completely changed persons. I mean, maybe poking a little fun at her like, oh, you look different, did you get a haircut? Something stupid like that. I mean, they could always have Ruby Rose's Batwoman have her identity revealed and then there's a fire and she runs into a burning building to save a girl or something and then she gets all burned up and, and has to have reconstructive surgery to save her skin and coincidentally accidentally change her secret identity to the new actress. I mean, it's such a blatant plot point just to hide a production change, it'd be kind of funny to see them do it, honestly. But no, unfortunately, we won't be seeing a glow up like that anytime soon. The studio just announced that they're completely getting rid of Kate and bringing in a new star to the show named Ryan Wilder. Yes, a, a girl named Ryan. Ryan Wilder. Like Van Wilder, but not. So this is what they have to say about this character. She's a female in her mid to late 20s who's the complete opposite of Kate Kane. Shocker there, right? Because that character worked out so well for you. But they say she's likable. We'll see how far that goes. A little goofy and untamed. Wow, every basic cliche you could ever want. She lives in a van with her plant. I'm sorry, what? 
says she would steal milk from an alley cat and could kill you with her bare hands. What? Am I just not understanding this character? Says she's the most dangerous type of fighter, highly skilled and wildly disciplined, while she's not stealing milk from street cats. Oh, and she's very much not your stereotypical all-American hero. Okay, great. Sounds exactly like they have no idea what they're doing. But please, by all means, please prove me wrong. I'll be waiting. There's just so many issues with this show, I'm not surprised Rose walked away. Apparently it was because it was too much of a workload for her. Being a film actress, working as a TV show actor, those hours are just much longer and it limits your availability for future movies. And doing this means not doing anything but this for the next eight years. If the show's not trash, that is. Personally, I think it was a mix of a few other major things, like not wanting to be the face of a character that everyone hated for almost a decade, but you know, that's just me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing to help the channel. Join the 8%. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this video for how much I dislike the show. I think maybe it's because I'm talking about something I don't like, which I think is fun to do. I love picking at movies. Maybe I'll try this a little more sometime. Let me know what you guys think. Go watch one of these other videos. Please, please stay safe. I appreciate you spending 10 minutes of your day with me. And until next time, I will see you in the comments. Peace.